Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 010 underscore DIAB underscore M. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab and upper your mouse cursor to save as. Select project. Rename this file to 00 underscore 012 underscore DIAB underscore N. Click the save button. Click the architectural tab and select the window command. Click the down arrow and see the windows that load into this project. Click the load family button. Click the up one level button and double click the metric US metric folder. Scroll down and double click the window folder. Select the first window and use a down arrow key to scroll through the windows. We are not going to use any of this window. Go and download the window from the website 00 underscore 011 underscore DIAB underscore N. I have already downloaded and placed this window to the folder that I create for the for this project. I'm going to select this file and click open. Zoom in into this area and place the window. Place a window here and here. Place another window into this wall, to this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall. Click the modify button. Select this window and click the down arrow. Change the type to 750 millimeter by 750 millimeter, and change the seal height to 1,500 millimeter. Select this window, grid similar, and place the window into this wall. Click the modify button. Select the window again and change the type to 1,800 millimeter by. 1200 millimeter with the window stay selected select the grid similar button select this wall this wall click this wall this wall this wall this wall and click the modify button now I'll go to the quick access tool and select the align dimension command Zoom in into this area, click this face, this face, and click at the center of the window. Move out and click to place a dimension. Click the EQ button to see the dimension equally between these two points. Do the same thing over here and click the center of the window. Place a dimension and click the EQ button to constrain the window at the center of this point. Now I'm going to pause this video and continue when and resume the video when I have aligned all the windows. Alright, now that I have centered all the windows to the various wall where I place them, I'm going to right click the dimension, select all instant visible in view, hit delete on your keyboard, click the, un click the unconstrained button on this dialog box. Now go to the project browser, click this scroll arrow and select the edit view range button. Change the the cut offset plan to 1550 millimeter. Click apply and click OK. Right click the reference plane and select it similar. In the draw panel, click the pick line button and change the offset distance to 900 millimeter. Click on this wall. Select the trim extend sequel element. Select the reference plane and click this portion of the wall to trim it. Click the modify button. Select the reference plane and hit the list on your keyboard. Now go to the navigation bar and click the zoom to fit command or type ZF on your keyboard. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save button. Alright, we're going to end this tutorial here. In the next tutorial, we're going to copy this and align it to the first floor plan.
if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friends if you have any question or suggestion please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe don't forget to click the bell that way when i upload a new tutorial you'll be notified immediately thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye